40 of 41 on the line. We're hitting the speed 1,500 metres before the field one still underway. Thanks, runners. On your mark. And they're underway in the women's B, 1,500 metres. 14, although doesn't look like 14 starters. Looks like they're 11 or 12 starters in this B, 1,500 metres. Maybe some of the athletes have gone to bed being 9.42 p.m. That's what you have to do to get through 41 races after work on a Thursday night here at Box Hill. But it's just due to the popularity of the Milers Club these days with record numbers attending tonight's event. And we see our athletes in the Doncaster athletes, Shania Murray. Oh, sorry, that's Feek Vanderkamp leading the way from Lucy Cleveland from Western Athletics and Tess Rhodes of Chilwell. Rachel White joins the party as well. She's in the mix. And times of oh, 440 to 450. So be looking to sort of run about those 73, 74 second laps. And um, of course, they go through in a 71. So setting themselves up, but it's worked so far. Everyone, pretty much every race tonight we've seen, has run a massive PB from the winner, from the first four, five, six, seven athletes, actually. So Fiki Vanderkamp leading them around. Lucy Cleveland and Shania Murray is in the mix as well. That's the athlete from Diamond Valley in the green, lime green crop top. Rachel White from Doncaster in the yellow singlet is in the mix, but it's a pretty thick pack. And Mia Rue made her way to the head of the field. Tess Rhodes joining her and Lucy Cleveland still in the front part of that field as well. Rachel White, but check out Mia Rue. She must have just been waiting, 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 and um, she's ready to run fast tonight. She's well under the 440 pace that she's put as her seed time. Let's see how many we can have join her. Cleveland, White, they're still on that pace. Cushy Diol as well. She's a season runner here at Myers Club. But Mia Rue has got a gap. If you can't see it on screen properly, it's a, probably a gap of about 30, maybe probably 30 metres ahead of the rest of the field. And she's still got 550 metres to go. There is a bit of a pack forming though. We know if there's a breakaway in cycling, the peloton does usually catch. But let's see if it's the case tonight because Mia Rue is looking pretty, pretty good. So Cleveland, White, Diol, they're all lining up, twining. Fiki Vanderkamp, they're all lining up as they collect the bell, but it's Mia's, Mia Rue's race to lose. 324, 325, 326, going through with one lap to go. And she's still got that lead of about... Ooh, could be starting to bridge it now. Could be down to about 20 or so metres. <laughs> yeah, we just lost a bit of lighting in the back straight here at Box Hill. It looks bright on screen, but it's not here at the track. I can guarantee you that. And they are eroding away that lead that Mia Roo has. And who is that? That is... Lara Skainer from Essendon, Cushy Diol, Lucy Cleveland. She's been there all race, and she's going to have a go as well. She's going to drag along Rachel White. As we said, it's Mia Roo's race to lose. And Cushy Diol, she is way as she's gone. Bang, Lucy Cleveland. She's going to do the best she can to make it hers. The lead has changed about eight times in this race so far. But it is Diol who will finish 
in front in 4.37. A few athletes under 4.40 for the first time. I like the way Cushy Diol sat, sat, sat and made a late charge. Lucy Cleveland, she was probably in the top three the whole race. Mia Roo, gutsy, gutsy run. That is weird. And I just realised there we see Josephine Borthwick of Collingwood on the, just on the outside of our screen finishing in third or fourth position there. Didn't even call a race.